Now, there is no doubt that encryption is the lightning rod in the tech world today. Tech giants must now consider not only how strong of encryption they can provide to their customers, but also whether or not that encryption will bite them in the legal bite when the U.S. federal government comes calling. Still, in a story filled with fiery rhetoric, it's nice to see most of the major players pulling together to say, let's figure this all out. All, that is, except Amazon, which has decided it's a lot easier just to remove encryption altogether. Yesterday, Amazon announced the deprecation of full device encryption in Fire OS 5. Users of Amazon Fire devices now must choose to keep their device encryption along with Fire OS 4 or decrypt their devices while upgrading to 5. There was a notable outcry after the announcement with several wondering if Amazon had sacrificed customer privacy on the altar of law enforcement overreach. But Amazon claims that full device encryption was an enterprise feature and specifically an enterprise feature that nobody was using. Whatever the case, if you plan on updating your Fire, you may want to reconsider what personal information you keep in the Amazon Garden. Carbon dioxide batteries ex exhaling can charge your phone. By using the concept of dissolution, researchers were able to break apart carbon dioxide into its base elements, or carbon and oxygen, by using STEP, or the Solar Thermal Electrochemical Process. With the carbon, they were able to generate carbon nanotubes, which are flexible, conductive, stable, and stronger than steel. The oxygen byproduct is channeled back to, its gen to, to, to the generator to boost its combustion efficiency. When incorporating carbon nanotubes into lithium-ion batteries by using them as the positive electrodes or anodes, they were able to give more than 10 times power storage performance. Carbon nanotubes can also be used in other battery types, infusing the nanofibers as positive electrodes in sodium-ion batteries as well. Sodium-ion batteries' current usage is in electrical grids for low-cost, low, large-scale applications. Infused with carbon nanotubes, batteries showed no sign of fatigue after they were exposed to almost 10 weeks of continuous charging and discharging. Imagine a fossil fuel electrical power plant that could produce zero net carbon dioxide emissions.